Biology is about seeing, about making the invisible visible. Discovering hidden realms of life through innovations in microscopy is essential to research at the Marine Biological Laboratory, and always has been. The last few decades have essentially revealed to us the inner workings of cells at an unprecedented scale, both in time and in space. But as scientists probe ever more deeply into unseen realms with increasingly powerful microscopes, their ability to interpret the information they gather has not kept pace. And that's because of the sheer amount of image data that one can acquire uh, with a microscope these days. And so when you're done, you can have easily a terabyte or two terabytes of data, which is like 600,000 snapshots on your phone. It's just a vast amount of data. It's hard to store, it's hard to move, and it's certainly hard to interpret. You can't look at all of those frames. You need algorithms that can analyze it and extract answers to your scientific questions from all that data. Solving these problems requires a unique combination of talents. You need people with expertise in the hardware of microscopes. You need the biologists asking the right questions. You need algorithm people like me, and then you need data analysis people. And I think this is the kind of place that can convene all of those people. An imaging innovation center at MBL dedicated to solving these problems accelerates discovery and moves the entire biological field into the future. This will be a center where microscopists and people that really understand the guts of the microscope will be able to work shoulder to shoulder with biologists, with image analysis people, to develop new technologies, new algorithms that inform the biological problems, and the biological problems are going to be able to inform the technology. And there are very few places in the world where you can, you can create that, th those type of interactions. At the MBL Center for Imaging Innovation, year-round workshops, courses, and collaborations show scientists how to use the most advanced imaging technologies to study a host of biological questions while providing feedback to instrument developers along the way. One goal of the Imaging Center is to essentially level the playing field for access to imaging so that people that are at smaller universities still have access to ask questions of these powerful microscopes. And so by making this an open door imaging center, we essentially open up our doors to the world to discover using imaging. MBL is an ideal place for this kind of permanent center. MBL is one of the greatest convener of biologists in the world, with well over 500 of the world's top scientists coming to its Woods Hole campus every year to carry out research or teach in the MBL's advanced research-based courses. The sheer diversity of people that are here and their problems is sort of unmatched anywhere else. There is some energy about this place that is uh, it's, it's really hard to capture in other places. In addition, microscopy and imaging companies bring millions of dollars worth of their latest cutting-edge equipment to the MBL, where biologists and students test the instrument's limits. This history of collaboration with industry places MBL squarely in the pipeline to innovate new imaging technologies that will lead to commercial development. And the MBL has a distinguished history of innovation in microscopy, leading to major biological discoveries. There's a rich history of imaging innovation at the MBL. In fact, it's just woven into its fabric. I am studying things right now that I never imagined I would ever be studying. I'm asking questions that I never thought I'd ever be able to ask, and it's all a consequence of imaging, and a lot of that happened at the MBL. Creative collaborations at the MBL are the key to innovation. In 2006, Howard Hughes Medical Institute's Eric Betzig and colleagues developed a new way to image cells in super-resolution. Betzig brought his new microscope to MBL's physiology course for the faculty and students to test drive. Working together night and day for two intense weeks in the course, they developed important applications of super-resolution, including single-molecule tracking in live cells. So, so that super-resolution microscope uh, netted Eric Betzig a share of the Nobel Prize in 2014. Uh, so that, to me, that's an example of what can happen here if the stars are aligned. When these elements come together, magic happens uh, with tangible results that affect the wider scientific community. An imaging center at MBL enhances this cycle, creating a hotbed of innovation that continuously produces advances in microscopy. A place where people feel they, they need to be if they want to be you know, current or if they want to uh, road test their latest technology. Improved imaging benefits more than the scientists at MBL, with implications from medical imaging to machine learning, 
The reach of a dedicated imaging center at MBL will be vast, but the most exciting answer that will come from MBL's imaging center is to a question we don't yet know to ask. Right now at the MBL, we have an ocean of organisms that really have yet to be analyzed. And what microscopy allows us to do is to begin to ask questions that perhaps we've never even thought of about problems that we've never even articulated. And microscopes are essentially a guide to that world and will open up questions that are completely new that we, ha we haven't imagined.